This is a video for Christina Hendricks's uh, philosophy courses to figure out how to um, post to the course website. So the first thing you need to do is to go to the UPC blog site and uh, basically create an account if you don't have one already. So that is uh, up here http well http blogs.ubc.ca and you'll get some page like this. And the first thing you need to do is log in with your CWL. Um, and I've already logged in on a different window of my browser, so that's why it didn't ask me for my password. And what you'll need to do, I, I'm not sure exactly what yours is going to look like because I've had an account for a while, but you will need to go up here to where it says Howdy Christina or Howdy whatever your name is and uh, go to Edit Profile because that's going to be your account information. You can choose your color scheme, you know, all that kind of stuff. But so the more important stuff is down here with your name. Um, you'll want to put things into first and last name and nickname that you eventually will want to be able to choose under display name publicly as. So what shows up here in this list is whatever's up here. So if you want to create a pseudonym for posting to the course as one of the options um, for keeping your posts public but making them not attached to your names, uh, what you would do is put your pseudonym probably in this field, nickname is just the easiest place to put it, and then under display name publicly as choose that pseudonym. Okay. Then you have to put in your email, you can put in other stuff if you want to, I have not done that, this is where you can change your password to a new one, but it's certainly much easier just to use your CWL. Okay, so uh, once you've done that, then you go to our website, blogs.ubc.ca slash fill230, and up here in this menu button, go to the right, and it, there's a thing that says click here to add yourself as an author to the site. Well, I can't do that because I'm already an author on the site, so yours should have some kind of button that says click here to add you know, yourself or whatever. It's also going to ask you for a password and that's just to keep people who are not in the class from posting on the site and I'm going to send that password over email. So I'm not going to put it on this video which will be public. That wouldn't be uh, useful as a password. So once you uh, get the password, you click here, um, you will then be able to be an author on the site and that means, closing this up, that when you go over, once you're logged in to UBC Blogs, you go over to My Sites, this site should show up on your list. Like I have a ton of them, obviously. And it, you should have something that looks like Phil 230 Intro to Moral Theory. And now when you get that, uh, click over here to Dashboard. And this is something like what you will see when you uh, get onto the site. And what you will be doing is making posts. So this is the only thing that you'll be needing to look at and may be one of the only things that you have as an option because since I'm an admin on the site I have lots of options that you may or may not have. I'm not sure what yours will look like. Um, you will want to add a new post. And it's pretty easy from here. You enter the title of your post. Um, you probably will want to name it something like, you know, journal entry number one, but you could also give it some other name because I'll just be checking these after the deadline and so I'll know which ones are for journal entry number one and which are, are for number two because they should be by the right deadlines. Um, then you just type in here whatever your post is. You've got all these buttons up here to help you, you know, uh, format it and all of that. Now the one thing that that I haven't added yet but uh, is I can add right now is the category so um, let me call this I'll just do uh, categories for each journal entry so first I'm gonna make these smaller entry and I'll just make that a new category. And then I'll have second journal entry, third journal entry, fourth journal entry, etc. So if, if you want to post things that are not 
journal entries, but just things that you find interesting or you know would like to to share with others, you can um, post them under. I think you'll be able to add a new category. If you can't, post them under uncategorized, and I'll try to categorize them. The other thing you might do, and you certainly don't have to do this, is to add the um, author last names so you might add like mill or cont or something like here at that under tags so that is uh, an option that just helps people to find um, what you've posted once you're done uh, you'll want to basically just click publish and then you're done um, however if you want to save it and work on it later you've got save draft if you want to preview what it's going to look like you can click that it'll open a new window these uh, are, if you click edit to these options, you get different options. I don't even know what pending review means, so, you know, leave that alone. Once you've published it, one of the statuses will be published. Visibility, this is one that, that will affect whether you want your post to be visible publicly to the world, which would be public. Do you want them password protected? You could do that. Now, I will give you the same email, the same password that you need to log into the site to begin with will be the same password to see the posts just to make life easier. And you would need to put that password in here so that everyone else in the class can see it. Otherwise, no one, no one will be able to read your post because it's password protected like I think I can and probably Serban can, the TA, but other than that, no one, will, no one else will be able to. If you make your own password, that is an option. The easier way to do that is just to click private because private means private to you and me and the TA and nobody else can read it. So you've got public to the world, you've got password protected using the class password which allows everybody else in the class to read it but no one else, and then private which is just you and me and, and the TA. And then you click cancel, uh, or the, I'm sorry, then you click okay but I'm gonna click cancel because I'm not doing anything. You can ask it to, actually I don't know if you have that option, you may or may not have that option to publish immediately or to wait for later, I'm not sure, so I'll just kind of leave that alone. And other than that, that's really the only thing you need to know. Hit publish and you'll get this uh, little little message up here that says post created and you'll, you'll be able to view it, there'll be a, a link to view post and there, where those will show up on the site um, is under journal posts. Right now there's, uh, I think, yeah, the only thing that's there is announcements because I can't, I can't easily find a way to make this page do only your journal posts and not all of the blog posts on the site which include announcements, so there may be some announcements in there <laughs> until I figure out how to, how to distinguish those two things more easily. And that should be it. Uh, if there, if things do not work as I have said, feel free to email me c.hendricks at ubc.ca um, and uh, if I need to I'll re-record this if I've said something incorrect. All right, goodbye.